Hey there, woodworkers. Happy upcoming holiday. I thought I'd stop in for another of my uh, little tips here. So when we're making puzzles, we're often working with small pieces. Um, this is just a little half inch thick, you know, about three by three inch square. And I want to cut some rabbits along either side of this. And it can be a little small. And uh, I've had some questions from some people about how to handle uh, very small pieces, you know, when uh, doing cuts like this. Um, because you do want to be careful and not have your fingers too close to a blade, anything like that. Um, so I'm using my sled here with all my different hold down points. Uh, and obviously you can probably make this work on, you know, different types of sleds as well. As long as they have some sort of a T-track and a stop system on them. So I know that, uh, you know, this being three inches and I've already aligned it with my blade. Um, so I can see that my blade is right up against there. And I want my dado, or my rabbit, excuse me, to be about a half inch, so just dropping one of my half inch setup blocks in here. And in order to hold this and not have to get my hands down close there, I just have one of my flip clamps here. And since it doesn't quite reach all the way, I just set it so I drop a little piece of wood on top of there, clamp it down, and now I can keep my hands nice and away from this. So at this point, I can go and make this cut. All right, once that cut is made, you can see I've got a nice groove in there. Should be about halfway through this piece. This is actually going to be a little bit of a lap joint used for making a locking piece. And now, since I've already made that cut, I can just kind of look in here and, you know, use the old nibble method to get rid of the excess here. And then just work my way back to the stop because I know that I'll be back at the front of the piece. So I'll just do that. There you go. Just like that. A couple of cuts. And I've got a nice flat bottom groove across there for my rabbit. So what I'll end up doing is the other side of this, I'll rip it in half, then I'll have two pieces that I can slot together. So I can use that for uh, different types of puzzle pieces. So just a little tip here. Um, these clamps are great for all sorts of small part holding. Uh, if you're making puzzles and doing lots of small bits, uh, I definitely recommend having a bunch of these on hand. Um, you know, keep some other scraps around in case you need to build it up. You know, if your clamp doesn't quite go far enough. Uh, otherwise, hope this is a good tip, and uh, everybody, stay dusty.